Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, Avery, and today I got an exciting new video for you guys. Before we jump off into this video, I would like to know how are you guys doing? Let me know how you guys are doing down below in the comments. You guys, the world is crazy right now. The world is so super crazy right now with the virus and everything going on. Um, if you guys are from Texas or been catching up with the news, we are in like a shelter in place type of ordeal right now in Texas, Harris County area. So I have nothing better else to do but to brighten up my day with makeup tutorials and first impressions and reviews and all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys are sitting at home being safe and watching all of my videos that I got coming. Like, I'm trying to make light of it. I've been without my full-time job for about two weeks now. And I just got the news yesterday that it will be until like May-ish. So here's the time for me to focus more on my YouTube and get more content out to you guys. So hopefully, Y'all are enjoying it. Hopefully you guys like, comment, and subscribe and share my videos. This is my main source of income at the moment and I'm not really making any income from my content. So, it is what it is. I'm okay with it. I'm not stressing on it too much. I can't stress on things that I'm not in control of. So, like I said, I got an interesting video for you guys. I have a mixture of drugstore products as well as high-end products that I want to do a first impression on. So if you guys are here for it, then continue watching. So yes, we're coming with a clear blank face like nothing done i am currently in a in a video of this hair review so i don't know if the hair review will go before this or after this but click the subscribe button and the notification so you won't miss it so the kids have been home i've been home it's just one of those type of oh, situations that we can't get away from so like i was saying clean face, bare face. I did just wash my face, moisturize my face. I did like a bust a lot of breakouts that's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's stress or what, but I've been breaking out really, really bad. Even down here, like, come on. Tone my face, y'all, that sea breeze that I hauled a few weeks ago and told you guys that I wanted to test out and try. Oh my God, that sea breeze is the truth. I would show it to you guys, but it's in my bathroom. Oh my God, it is the truth. That thing burns and tingles and like it's so minty and it feels like it's actually doing something that I was just like, whoa. So I did moisturize my face with the clean and clear watermelon gel moisturizer. You guys, I've been testing this out and using it and I actually been liking it. So we are going to try to do the brows with this LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and it is an espresso. I've been trying to love them and I'm hoping it works but I did pull out some backups just in case. My Wet n Wild Color Icon in Dark Brown Pencil. I've been using this a lot lately as we could tell. And I did pull out the LA Girl Brow Pomade in Soft Black. I pulled this bad boy out just in case brows don't go the way I wanted to, so. <laughs> oh, and you guys, let me put on this uh, primer first. This is the Elf Dewey Primer that everybody has been raving about and saying it was it was a dupe to the, the Hydro Grip by Milk. I haven't picked that up yet, so the Jelly Pop Primer I want to try. So, ooh. How do you know it's too much? I like it. She smells good. I like this consistency. Ooh. 
Sorry if you guys hear my kids in the background. They're playing basketball right now. This smells good. I think maybe I put too much on. I'm not for sure, but I like this. Ooh, the jelly pop. doing during the quarantine aspect what have y'all been up to let me know some netflix shows to be watching and stuff now that i have nothing better else to do with my life i've been like really watching netflix a lot so i did watch um raising dion and i know y'all i'm probably like so behind but i wasn't really a netflix watcher to begin with and now that it seems like the same things are coming on tv i'm like let me check out netflix and hulu i even did a, a um 30 day trial thing for hulu because i was watching the newest Grey's anatomy and y'all i already caught up on Grey's anatomy from the seasons that i missed on Netflix and I the way it ended on Netflix on season 15 I was like no ma'am I gotta figure out where else I could find season 16 because season 16 is on television at the moment so I was like nope I can't wait I can't figure this out so I went and downloaded Hulu and been watching it ever since but since they are on the current episodes I didn't want to watch like I think it's like seven of them that I missed so far. I didn't want to just like blow through the seven and then be waiting for the next episode type thing. So I think I watched like two or three of them. I watched The Stranger. If you guys haven't watched The Stranger on Netflix, go check it out. What else have I watched? I'm about to start watching the Madam CJ Walker. Thing. My sister told me to watch it so we could discuss it. I just haven't started it yet. Y'all, my sleep pattern has been jacked. I'm up all night. Just watching TV. I'm still waking up early. I've been homeschooling the kids and they've been homeschooling me like y'all this quarantine stuff is like getting ridiculous all right so this far with this pencil it started out good but it's not finishing off good and it may be because my brows are so not full like i've never had full brows this is not giving no color payoff like it started out. So I think I'm gonna outline. See, you can barely even see it. You can see it on the bottom, but the top you can't really see it. So I think I'm gonna outline my brows and then fill in with something else. You see how it works underneath, but on top it doesn't do much. I don't know why it's gonna work on the bottom and give like definition, but to the top it's not doing anything. I don't know, with the brow pencils, some of the brow pencils, it's almost like an everyday type of brow, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild color icon and I'm just gonna start with the tail and start filling it in. I'm not showing up to one note just to show up in front of your friends. I don't really want to meet you all wow. Just to have something to post about Lately I get really exhausted by the thought Ooh, y'all, it's hot in here All these lights, y'all know My filming setup is in the garage now So it's like Girl, it's hot I am gonna move on into my project pan The matte color no conceal and correct palette it's the medium to deep and it's that pro concealer i've just been trying to use this up so i'm gonna clean up my brows and i'll be right back so this is what the eyebrows are looking like this far 
The pencil brows always turn out so good for me. I didn't end up using the pomade, so I'm gonna set this to the side for another video. But we're gonna dip off into the more 335, oh wait, 3503 palette, and this is the Fierce by Nature palette. I hauled this to you guys, and I've been dying to dip off into it, so. <laughs> We're gonna give a real colorful look. I don't know what yet though. I don't know what kind of look we're going for, but oh, I have to play in it. And it's a lot of colors that's screaming out to me right now and I don't know, I just don't know. I don't know which one to pick, but I know for a fact we're gonna be using some new brushes. Y'all know all my new brushes go into one cup. And this is my Gerard Cosmetics Cup. If you could see, y'all know I'm on like the affiliate PR team for Gerard Cosmetics. If you want to get a discount on Gerard Cosmetics, always look down below in the hot box. I always have my Amazon storefront as well as all of my coupon codes and stuff like that down below. And stay tuned because there is a Gerard Cosmetics PR unboxing coming after this video. I am gonna get this Best Top Shader Brush and Best Top is in my Amazon storefront. I did get a set of brushes and these are some great Amazon brushes. I'm gonna dip into Trance and pop that in my brow bone. Um, we're gonna just pop that in our brow bone just to mattify. That brow bone. So nothing so serious yet. This trance color is like a off-white type of color, almost peachy. And I just wanted to mattify that brow bone just to start off with. I don't know, okay, let's go with this pink color. And I'm gonna go in with this best top like dome shader brush. And this pink color is unstoppable. And the Morphe palette, we're just gonna dip off into it. And we're gonna use that as a crease color. Well, not a crease color, but, ooh. Oh, wow. Good thing I decided to start off with the eyes, like always, because this is like, bam. I don't see no fallout so far, but in the, in the palette, it is, I hope you've seen that. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. And you guys know I like to tap first before actually blending. I'm gonna dust this one off. I think I'm gonna use this same brush for the orange. That's pigmented, it's still on the brush. Okay, so this orange color is going to be Ball of Fire, and it's this shade right here. And we're gonna tap that on the edges of Unstoppable. We're gonna tap, tap, tap first. Ooh, they so pigmented. And we're gonna blend a little bit very lightly. Like to where you're almost not touching your eye. All right, this is looking really fiery and pretty. I am gonna like shake some things up. But before I shake it up, I want to go in with Consume, which is this matte color right here. And I'm gonna take it on like a fluffy brush. I'm gonna take this Morphe M503 brush. It's a flat, fluffy brush. I'm gonna take it and just blend out the edges between the brow bone and that orange color just to buff it out a little bit. Right, so we're looking pretty good. I really want to cut my crease and pop 
pop in like a really bright color, which I'm looking at those two greens and I'm like, yeah. Okay, you guys, we're gonna dip back into Unstoppable and a little bit of Smoked Out. Unstoppable and a little bit of Unstoppable, like where you barely see it. And we're gonna take that and blend the edges. Just to give it just a little definition. How's it not showing up on camera? It is really deep in person. And that smoked out shade is just not showing up on camera for some reason. All right, so I'm liking what we're doing right now. So I am going to find me a flat shader brush and we're going to pop on this. Bright as honey. Okay, we're gonna use the Morphe M167 brush. Y'all, I really need to clean my brushes. We're gonna dip into that Power Play, which is this beautiful green color right here. I hope she shows up really good. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, we're gonna spray her and we're gonna place that right on the lid. Your phone and some time. Boy, you don't know that we know about you. You baby. Baby, we know about you. No excuse. My favorite color is lime green, so this color is doing the job. Okay, you guys, we're looking really cute right now. So we are going to move on into the face before finishing off the eyes. You guys know I don't like finishing off the eyes and then moving on into face. This is just the way I do my makeup. Okay, so I do want to try out the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation and it's up to a 24 hour wear. Uh, I got this shade 70WR which is warm red and 70 is a dark shade. I love that on top it gives you all the specs to it. This is a flexible, breathable, real skin matte finish. Medium buildable coverage does not transfer, minimizes the appearance of pores, stay true to color, it's waterproof, vegan formula, does not contain animal divide ingredient ingredients or by products. And I told you guys I was gonna do probably like a foundation wear test or something on it, but I am gonna just use it in the first impressions and we're gonna see what she's given and how she feels. Oh. Um, we're gonna use my Wet n Wild new beauty sponge and we're gonna see how this works up against that dewy primer. Ooh. Oh, she's bad. She's pulling orangey on camera, but she is a perfect match. Yeah, I don't do my hair. Promise. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, and she's mad. She is a medium coverage, but pretty matte like I like. Oh, God. And she's not doing bad against that jelly primer neither, so I'm thinking this is going to be... Chill. It's just a great okay, foundation. She's pulling orange on camera, but kid you not in person. In real life, she is not orange whatsoever. So I am gonna pick up the concealer, the Jordana Take Cover Concealer, and this is a full coverage concealer that I got from Walgreens. This is in the shade 14 Toffee Caramel. You guys, I explained to y'all in my 
drugstore video that, that I did not know Jordana even had foundation, I mean, had concealers, but I just seen someone on YouTube use a Jordana foundation, which shocked the miss out of me. And I told you guys that I was gonna be on a hunt for it, so now that I've actually seen that somebody is using a foundation on YouTube, I was like, yes, have to find it. Gotta get with the program and do like a full face of Jordana product. You know what? I'm kind of concerned that everything I'm using is like matte, 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 and more matte. Uh, let's hope we don't screw up. Oh no, she doesn't feel mad. Oh, she feels real creamy. And it says it's a full coverage, but she feels really lightweight, really lightweight, and she feels hydrating, but it says full coverage. And I like that. I like the shape color too. I think I need to turn my exposure down, you guys, because for some reason, every time I look into the monitor, everything looks a little too orange. I hope it's better. It still looks a little too orange, but y'all, this is really golden and not orange at all. Even the foundation is still looking a little orange. I know y'all like, girl, this video is looking all different kind of colors. But I want y'all to see like the real true deal and the lights may be just a tad bit too bright. Okay, y'all not looking as dark no more, but hopefully that didn't screw with the exposure. Y'all, I stay playing with the lighting. It just depends on the day. It depends on the day, the background, and everything like. And I think I'm gonna spray a little bit of the Magic Rose Water. It's the Hydrating Mist for face and body. I got this from my beauty supply store. It's not new, but I think I wanna kinda make the face a little more hydrating and not keeping everything dry, 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 dry. So. So I'm gonna go in with that flat side of the Beauty Blender by Wet n Wild. And we're gonna put that in my Oh, she blends out quick. I wonder if the setting spray just helped that because I'm not quite for sure. But she is giving. The under eye is the real test, you guys. But right now, yes, she's doing it for me. Can y'all see that? Right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you see my fingerprint? It's almost like product is picking up a little bit. Okay. Maybe a too too much of mat situation going on, but it's not bad. I may want to try this with like a hydrating foundation or hydrate primer but she doesn't work with the Urban Decay foundation. So I am gonna go into the new Cody Airspun loose face powder. Now Cody Airspun did release some new shades. I have Honey Beige in 07032 and I want to test this out. You guys know I love the I think it's like extra coverage translucent powder by Cody Airspun. So I want to test out this one. The only thing I hate is that the jar is like really messy. I wish Cody Airspun would come out with like a whole new little situation here to keep it from being so messy. But other than it being so messy, it is a great powder. Hopefully honey beige is a good shade for me. Let's shake it up a little bit. Y'all, I'm telling y'all I'm scared of this powder because it be so much. All right, so here's what the color is looking like. She almost still looks a little translucent still, 
So I'm gonna use the same beauty sponge, just blend out these creases real quick, even though they're gonna probably stay. And I'm gonna use what's on the top and the little bit that's inside yeah, still, it gives off a peachy tint, but I can say it's like sticking to the product. It's not free move. It's almost like once you sit it down, that's really it. I don't know if you guys can catch that on camera, but I'm catching it in real life. It is like wherever you place it, that's pretty much it right there. It still looks like the ghostly look that the original one gives me. But I know once like you go to spray it down, it's not gonna be so bad. So if you guys don't like the Cody Earspun smell, the scent of it, still don't get it. Because it's still there. Okay, so I am gonna bust open the Black Radiance Press Powder. This is, it says, brush and mirror included. I don't need a brush. It's a pressed powder, but it's in the shade Black Coffee. I am gonna use this bad boy as a contour. Since it's a pressed powder, but you know, the deeper you go for your skin tone, it becomes a bronzer slash contour. And I am going to use the new Real Techniques 203 brush, which is the contour brush i know it says it on here somewhere it is the rebel edge broad and i seen someone use it to contour slash bronze with so that's what we're gonna do i don't want to do too much because it may be too much Ryan, let's <laughs> okay i like this makes it a little hard to get used to but I like it. Black coffee is like a cool tone bronzer, which is not too bad. It doesn't have, it doesn't pull like reddish. It pulls more cool tone, which I could deal with. Double edge fine brush and the number is 308 or 303. It's like really teensy, tiny, but it looks real promising and cute. So I am gonna take a little bit and chisel this nose out. Coverage or anything, so 
can't say anything bad right now. It looks pretty decent. So, okay. I'm trying to use as many colors as possible. So, make believe this pressed glitter. I want to pop that in my inner tear duct. And I just dust the Morphe brush off. And I want to pop hers right here. It's a little bit too dark for an inner tear duct color, but I'm about to spruce it up real quick and then I'll be like right back. All right, you guys, so I did spruce it up a little bit. I did go ahead and add on my highlight. I spruced up that inner tear duct with the AOA Studio um, glitter and this one is in the shade diamond it's a silver glitter if you guys could see we did go ahead and set our highlighted areas with the wet and wild golden flower crown this is one of my favorites nothing new about that i do want to kind of pop on my elegantly boutique no my elegantly me cosmetics blush in touch of spice you guys know this is my signature blush that they like dedicated to me if you guys want to buy this blush check my hot box down below because i have a whole kit i have the blush i have the eyeshadow and i have the lips that all combine together and it is a, a um a kit matter of fact the kit will come like this and you get three products for $35. I don't have the products in here, but you get three spots, which is the single eyeshadow, the lip, the liquid lipstick, and the blush that I'm gonna use. And it is called Ada's Makeup Kit. If you guys didn't know, my real government name is Ada. I wish they would have went by my makeup name, but it's all good. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the cheeks I love this blush I honestly could wear this blush at any given moment in a season I just love it so much I am going to use the lash bandos lashes and I absolutely love this I did record a PR unboxing with this and I haven't uploaded it yet. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see it because it's just like currently sitting there on my computer. I felt like my energy was kind of down so I didn't even edit it and upload it because I was like batch recording that day and it was just like the last video of the day so my energy was kind of low. But if you guys want me to edit it and upload it, let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, back to the Lash Bando. 25 millimeter mink lashes. This one is in Xanax. Yes, Xanax, and I love that it's in the pill bottle. The lashes look like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous lashes. Okay, so let's move on to the lips, and then we will be done. You guys, this I know this video is like becoming extra, extra long and things, but it's sorty. Sorry. Okay, we're going to dip off into this LA Girl Ultimate Eyeshadow uh, Eyeliner. And it is an eyeliner, but it's in Lasting Brown. And I wanted to try it as a lip liner because you guys know I do not wear brown in the waterline. And I didn't realize it was an eye until after I bought it. So, I'm going to try it on my lips. It is brand new. I like that it has a little grip to it. It has a gripper on it, but it is LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner for the eyes. And let's just hope and pray it works for the lips. Oh, creamy. Real creamy. Ooh, too creamy. 
it fell off. If you guys like creamy liners for your waterline, get you the LA Girl Intense, the Ultimate Intense. It works really good. Is it just me or is it everybody that don't, that feel like they don't know how to put on lip liner? Cause I swear I don't know how to put on lip liner. I don't know how to overdraw my lips or anything. Okay, I think it would be really good for a lip liner. It's just a little bit too creamy for me. I am gonna go in with the Rimmel London Matte, Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Be My Baby. This one is new to my collection. So, going with a peachy nude with this look, I think will be perfect. Doesn't seem like it's gonna draw down. It's one of the moussey ones. I don't think it's gonna dry down, but I'm gonna leave it like that. I was gonna go over with the NYX Butter Gloss and Bit of Honey, should I? Should I, should I, should I? Or should I leave it as a matte? I know that kinda makes it look better. And y'all know I'm a matte girl. All right, you guys, so this is it. How do y'all feel about it? Because I am really feeling the look. I can't wait to take my Instagram pictures for this bad boy. And I will have all products listed in my Instagram post. So make sure y'all go over there and follow your girl on Instagram, as well as I will have everything linked down below in the hot box under products mentioned in this video and if you're looking for any coupon codes or anything like that make sure to check underneath the products linked and all of the items will be I'm sorry all of the items if there's a coupon to it will be down there so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click the notification bell and don't forget that upcoming 5k giveaway that we're doing Y'all know that the giveaway is about to be big. And we're almost there. Thank you for the new Diamonds and Gems that have joined the family. Thank you to my original Diamonds and Gems. I love you all so much. Let me know what you think of this look down below in the, in the comment section. Let your girl know. Do y'all want another look with the 3503 palette? Or should I move on to another palette? Let me know down below. And in the words of my loyal subscriber, you guys keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.